Hey, this is Kenny Aronoff, and you're watching Rock and Roll Gallery Shot Talk. This is either before or after the the shot of them standing under the arch, the arch at McDonald's, and clearly. After this, somebody got really hungry. So I, this is part of a tour we did for promoting their first song, You Really Got Me. So we were hitting a lot of radio stations in the Midwest and the East Coast. I started shooting pictures when I was 16 years old, maybe even 15, but I started shooting pictures when I was 16. Um, didn't want to shoot pictures of flowers and weddings. Uh, I wanted to shoot pictures of people, and not just any people. I wanted to shoot rock stars. And I was lucky enough to um, just fall upon the Allman Brothers right off the bat. And they took me in like uh, I was a family. And I uh, started with the Allman Brothers and grew from there. And uh, between the time I was 16 and the time I was... 21, 22, that was my career. That was my main, those were the years for me. Well, the warehouse, for lack of a better uh, term, was the Fillmore East of the South. Um, and I was the official, unofficial photographer for the warehouse. I was a kid with a camera who happened to make nice, nice with the promoters. And um, I just had the chutzpah to go knocking on doors. You know, a lot of People were shy, and uh, they put their pictures or their rolls of film in a drawer and never, never did anything with them. But I had the gumption, or the whatever you want to call it, to, to shoot and shoot and shoot and knock on the hotel doors. I, I also got thrown off of a few stages, too. Don't, don't get me wrong. I didn't have complete and total access. You know, you piss somebody off, and you're off that stage, and sometimes quite violently off the stage. I flew off that stage more than once with my cameras flying in the air. This is uh, this is Mick Jagger at Altamont. This is the, the you know the Rolling Stones at the infamous Altamont. Uh, in this shot, he's uh, just coming out of his trailer before he, uh, they went on. Um, he kind of he's looking at me like I'm dead, but it's 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 a great shot because they they were primed to do this. They, this this event had been put off several times. It had been moved around the Bay Area within like three days, three different sites. It was go, supposed to be in Golden Gate Park. That's where he wanted it. Then they moved it up to Marin, and then they found this place out in the middle of nowhere. Um, so they did it. So he was just glad to have it happen. So one day, it was just Bob and I, and we were, before rehearsals, we were uh, doing whatever we were doing. I happened to have my old Bronica. Uh, uh, two and a quarter inch camera, uh, film camera. And uh, so I was just kind of fooling around with it at the time. Bob walked in, he saw me with me, he says, you want to take a couple of photos? And I said, sure, you know, whatever, you know, that's what I do amongst other things. So um, the, the grand piano was in the foreground. So, and he had uh, his guitar case on it. So he just kind of leaned on it. And um, I am not a photographer that tells people what to do. There are some great photographers that are great with posing people. I'm more of a documentary. I shoot what's in front of me. 